If you believe it's impossible, it is. If you believe it's possible, it is. You see, ladies and gentlemen, the mind does not know the difference between reality and non-reality. And I'll prove it to you. Picture for the moment you're having a terrible nightmare. A lion is chasing you. Its claws are outstretched. You are running for your life. It's about to pounce. And you wake up. Your body has reacted as though it was actually happening. You're perspiring, you're huffing and puffing, and your heartbeat is elevated. You didn't know the difference. Now, I'm saying to you this evening, that is a fantastic thing. Because whatever you convince this thing for long enough will happen. You become what you believe. The difference from ordinary to extraordinary is that word extra. And I'd never run more than eight kilometers in the compulsory school cross country. I hated it, and I was kind of middle of the field, too bad. <coughs> but here's the trick, ladies and gentlemen. If you have big dreams, and you're driven by a purpose beyond just the ego, you can achieve incredible things. There's a big difference between success and significance. It had never been done in a single attempt. And essentially, we had to run a marathon a day for just under 100 days, on average. The Great Wall of China, 4,218 k's. The ascents, the uphills back to back, equal the height of Mount Everest 14.8 times. It is a formidable task. It's known as the sleeping dragon. The physical challenge in an event like this is not where the outcome is decided, for the body is merely a slave to the mind. And I absolutely agree with that. And he continues by saying, and if the mind can be convinced of the value of the task, there is little that is impossible. And remember what I'm saying to you now, the definition of hell. Hell is arriving at the end of your life and meeting the person that you could have been. What is your big dream? And what do you need to change to make that dream your reality. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've got something to take home. I'd be humbled by that. Thank you. Can you stand here for a second? Yeah, of course. I just want to uh, introduce to every one of you, this is young Zankia. She was born with a cleft palate and a cleft lip. She had five days in intensive care. She couldn't drink milk. And because of Operation like Smile and people like Brahm, this young lady has a different life today. And I think this man has touched every one of our hearts. If you don't mind, let's be upstanding. Thank you, Brahm. I'll have you for everything he's done. Thank you, Brahm.